Hello, Battle for Baldur's Gate draft pack. So yeah, we only opened the set booster box. I wanted to check the draft booster packs as is. Um, I think for this set, they might be slightly better. Um, they reintroduced the commons and uncommons from the list. So yeah, no value there. Set boosters are quite a bit more expensive. Um, even on a on a on a set booster box, you only get eighteen for roughly a hundred pounds or a hundred and fifteen euros. And draft boosters, you get twenty four for around the same amount of money. So, and then the commons are actually better in terms of value than the uncommons. And also you get 20 cards per pack, although you can't find multiple, you know, multiple rares on the, on the draft. Although you can find a, a rare um, commander, I think you've got 31% probability of finding a rare commander. And then you can just find like a rare or mythic rare. Um, same thing, rare commander or mythic rare commander. Um, and then you find a rare or mythic rare um, in the pack. So you can find um, two, but you know, in set boosters, I think we find five in one. So yeah, you'll find more rares in there. So yeah, it's just a matter of deciding whether it's worth it or not. <laughs> this is interesting. I want the adventure dragon. Okay, see deadly dispute. This is a high value, uncom like a high value com uh, common. Yeah, it's coming down. It used to be around two fifty. Now, um, I think since it was reprinted, maybe two fifty. Yeah, now it's reprinted is one fifty. Probably come down to one. But I hope it stays over the one euro mark. Gate. I'm happy they brought back adventures. I really like it as a mechanic. All right, first on comments. So two, three. This is the. Yeah, this is an interesting commander. Spells can be counter vigilance reach trample war two. Um, could be could be a decent um, um, Voltron deck. I mean nothing competitive or anything, just for fun. Then we found background. I think we'll find two backgrounds. No, from one background and a rare. Yeah, nothing nothing great. Unfortunately, and then another background. Yeah, so we do find two backgrounds, and then a token. All right, this was a whiff. But we found a deadly dispute, so at least we got something to be happy about. Okay, a worse version of the Arcane Denial. Try and get out of the glare. I mean, that's how it came out. <sighs> right. An adventure card. Banishment. Better cards. I 
<laughs> nice. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the commander. This is the background and come on and then we get a non-creature at then is that a dragon? No. Monster manual. Uh don't know if this is worth anything. Anyway, then we have a foil. Predatory impetus. Monster manual worth anything. Not sure. Alright, last one. <coughs> This was a draft pack. Yeah. Still looking for the nature's law, which I haven't found yet. Another predator impetus, puzzle escape. We're not finding yet. No nature's law. Scorpo Merchant is good, it's a good card. Emo N is one of the monocolor with background. This is a background, shameless charlatan. Okay, a rare background, so we found two rares as a minimum. All right, what have we got here? Astorian Thirst. And then Contraband Livestock. Okay. Yeah, I think this was not the best, you know, the best session we had. Just gonna have a quick look at Monster Manual. Value. Who knows? Yeah, most of mine is worth a little bit, around two euros, something. So it was a complete whiff, but could have been better. All right, well, yeah, that's the, that's all we've got for today. And yeah, thank you for opening this pack with me as usual, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.